Well, a halaqa is where we study the Quran, and halaqa teen is where we study the Quran in a cool, teen friendly way. Okay, how many of you have come here because you have questions about Islam? How many of you have come here today because your parents made you? Salam alaikum, children. Walaikum salam. What is uh, going on here? Hmm? Halaka study circle. Boys and girls together. You call this COVID meat market a halaka? If you kids had any morals, you don't go home. Okay. No, wait, kids, I. <laughs> studying together. When I ran the mosque, that would never happen. Mm -mm. Let me guess why that is. Did you even have a class? Yes, I did. And did anybody show up? No, none at all. There was bad weather several Fridays in a row. A whole year's worth. So you see, Baba, it isn't easy to get teens to study Islam. The only thing they were studying was head cleavage. I'm trying to make it socially relevant. So I'm sorry, head cleavage? Bangs all over the place. Baba, times change. As Imam, it is your duty to make sure they do not. You know what? You're right. It's obvious I'm half the Muslim you are. Who am I to argue with the Grand Mufti of Mercy? If we agree, then why are we arguing, huh? You think before you speak, you're conservative but flexible. Mm -hmm. People love to hear what you have to say. Hmm. And then he said, my beard was fetching. <laughs> <laughs> he really piled on the compliments. Mm, what compliments? He was stating facts. Well, I hope he said mashallah. Otherwise, you might get the evil eye. Hmm? What is this evil eye, eh? Huh? Some sort of voodoo? When you pay someone a compliment, you're supposed to say, mashallah. Means thanks to Allah. Otherwise, you might give the other person the evil eye. Bad things will happen to them. <laughs> Let me get this straight. So, Amar forgets to say, musha, musha, and, and he gets bad luck. <laughs> Love your religion. Only if Allah wills it. It seems far-fetched. What is far-fetched is that Ama would compliment you. <laughs> <laughs> the cream in this tea is sour! Oh, <laughs> evil eye. <laughs> I was thinking evil diner. Oh. oh, what's this? Remember how you were late for lunch yesterday? Yes. And remember how you were late for Rayan's graduation? There was a good reason for that. And then there was a time you were late for my mother's funeral. Your mother's not dead. Is she? No, but when she dies, you'll be late for her funeral. I'm really starting to get creeped out by this box. Open it. It's a new watch. Oh, I love it! <laughs> Thank you, darling. Seems to like you, too. Yeah! That'll be, uh, 11.50, please. Mm. I must have left my wallet at work. No problem. Don't worry. I can, uh, put all this stuff back. Okay. Uh, except for that toga room. I only ate one triangle. Yeah, you know, amazingly enough, even one missing triangle seems to throw people off. I've never been in this situation before. It's okay, just take it. I don't really know what to do. Um, just go. Well, it's a bit of a moral quandary because the Quran says that I you should You can leave. That's it. And have a nice day. Okay. Mail delivery. For me, how romantic. Oh, dear Mayor, thank you for the zoning variance. Okay, not for me. I'm not so romantic either. Why do people give me her stuff? Permits for the mayor, files for the mayor, package that hopefully isn't a bomb for the mayor? Well, there's more to life than romance. Okay, listen, I know I'm not in the biz, but if it says mayor on it, just give it to the mayor. I'm not her assistant. Well, you do sit outside her office and perform the duties of an assistant, and she doesn't have an assistant. She calls her assistant. So if you're looking around the office and you can't see the assistant, it's probably you. All right, fine. 
Just leave her stuff with me. Thanks. If you could return the cart when that's done, that would be great. So you stole the chalk bar. No, I didn't steal, steal it. I just didn't pay. You hardened criminals are all the same. You probably think it's society's fault. It's a chocolate bar. It's not the heist of the century. So tell me, did you case the joint first? Okay, stop. I feel really bad about this. Maybe I should just go back and pay. This happened this morning, and you're coming to that solution now? I've been busy. Doing what? Eating the chocolate bar. Anytime you need spiritual counsel, I'm here to help. That was more like heckling, but thanks. How's the watch? Fantastic, darling. It's more than just a watch. This little guy has hundreds of functions. Does shutting up count as a function? I'm sorry, I'm just a little tense. What's wrong? Well, the mailboy at the office thinks I'm the mayor's assistant. It's a little demeaning. Well, you did call him mailboy. Well, I have better things to do than being the mayor's mailbox. Is it attention that you want? Because I'm right here. Should I leave you two alone? Apologies. So, oh, what's the problem? You're afraid to confront the mayor? No, I'm afraid to confront the mail guy. Well, why don't you just get her a file scoop? Plastic thing. Goes in the door, put your mail in it. I like it. I'll install it. Honey, you've had six untended contracts this year. So one more isn't going to set off any alarm bells, is it? Sorry, I thought my watch was going to go off just then. No, that would have been funny. Hmm, how's it timing?